perhaps whole mangalacharan of ramayan and in subsequent days we can perhaps just do one or two mantras ha huh? varnana marth sanghana rasana chandasamapi मंगलानाम चकर्तार वंदे वाणी विनायक भवानी शंकर वंदे श्रद्धा विश्वास रूपिनौ याभ्याम विना न पश्यन्ति सिद्धास्वास्थमीश्वर वंदे बोधमय निुर शकरूपिण यमाश्रित वक्रोपि चंद्र सर्वत्र वंद्यते सीताराम गुणग्राम पुण्यारण्य विहारिण वंदे विशुद्ध विज्ञान कवीश्वर कपीश्वर उद्भवस्थित संहार कारिणी क्लेशहारिणी सर्वश्रेयस्करी सीता नोहम राम यन्मायावशवर्ति विश्वखिल ब्रह्मादिदेवासुरा यदृशाति सकल रजो यथाभ्रम यदप्लवेक भवा बोधे स्थितीर्षावता वंदे हम तमशेषकारण परम काख्यमीशं हरि नापुराण निगमागम सम्मत यदने निगदि क्वचिदी स्वांत सुखाय तुलसी रघुनाथ गाथा भाषा निबंध मति मंजुलात नोती भाषा निबंध मति मंजुलात नोती हरिओ बरे भाग मानुष तन पावा सुर दुर्लभ सब ग्रंथ निगा बिनो सत संग बिनो सत संग विवेक ओ राम कृपा बिनु सुलभन सो रघुकुल रीति सदा चली आई प्राण जाए वर बचन न जाय ओ मल चित अति दीन दयाला कारण बिनु रघुनाथ कृपाला
अवदत है जह राम निवासु दिवस कहा जह भानु प्रकाशु मंगल भवन मंगल भवन अमंगल हारी राम जय राम जय जय राम मंगल भवन अमंगल हारी द्रव उस दस रथ अजर बिहारी नहीं कल कर मन नहीं कल कर मन भगती बीबे को राम नाम अब लम बिनु गुरु भवानी धी तर न कोई जो बिरंची शंकर सम हो कर्म प्रधान विश्व करी राखा जो जस कर सो तस फलु चाखा राम जय राम जय जय राम श्यावर रामचंद्र की जय 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 राघव जानकी वल्लभ जय 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 राघव जानकी वल्लभ जय सुर नर वंदिता जामवंत सेविता जय सुर नर वंदिता जामवंत सेविता जय 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 राघव जानकी वल्लभ जय 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 राघव जानकी वल्लभ जनातन जगन्नाथ ज्ञान की कांत राम जनार्दन जगन्नाथ जानकी कांत राम
जनन मरण वर्चिता जनकपुर विराजिता जनन मरण वर्जिता जनकपुर विराजिता जय 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 राघव जानकी वल्लभा जय 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 राघव जानकी वल्लभा जय सुर नर वंदिता जामवंत सेविता जय सुर नर वंदिता जामवंत सेविता जय 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 राघव जानकी वल्लभा जानकी वल्लभा जानकी वल्लभा वल्लभा ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री सरस्वत नम ओम श्री गुरुदेवाय नम ओके वेरी स्पेशल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू दोज वर लिस्निंग फ्रॉम पियोरिया एंड अदर प्लेसेस वी आर सीइंग फ्रॉम टुडे अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पोर्शन ऑफ द श्री राम चरित मानस राम चरित मानस यही नामा श्रवण सुनत पाय विश्रामा तुलसीदास जी सेज दट इज राम चरित मानस विच ही नेम्ड वन हु लिसन्स टू इट ही अटेन्स विश्राम विश्राम मीन्स द स्टेट ऑफ सुप्रीम पीस लाइक दैट है सुप्रीम पीस and you will see in sundar kanda when hanuman ji was sitting on that ashoka tree and he related ramayan to sita ji who was down below and when she heard that ramayan to sita ji writes there that when sita ji heard this ramayan kar dukh bhaga all her sorrows went away so is just listening to this ramayan only one can get so much of peace and joy in life huh what to talk of study what to talk of you yourself chanting and all of these things you see so we are going to now see this little portion it's called as ram geeta ramayan has this ram charita manas of goswami tulsidas ji has seven kandas and this ram geeta comes in the third kanda which is called as aranya kanda hmm so it comprises a very small portion and any little portion is enough you know once studied well alpapyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat bhagwan says in gita little bit of this dharma is studied well can save one from great sorrow and great fear and all such things it lonely so we don't need much Okay, so in these seven days we will study seven days, ah? Huh? We'll study this Ram Gita. Now in this Rama, there are many Gitas, ah? Huh? Some people say there are eighteen Gitas: eh, Lakshmana Gita, Vibhishan Gita, Purujan Gita, Guru Gita, Shiva Gita, Ram Gita. So many Gitas are there. The Kaak Gita, Kaak Vishundi Samvad. There's Gita there also. So. so many gitas are there in there inside of here but this one is very interesting well when we say like that you know this one is very interesting all of them are very interesting when when we are studying it that time that one is the best and then you go to the other one that one is best so how many best are? all are best like that gitas okay so 
लाइक इट सेज राम गीता भगवान राम इज स्पीकिंग टू लक्ष्मण एंड नाउ वेन डिज दिस हैपन इन एट वॉट टाइम इन दिस रामायण लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू लिटल बिट भगवान राम डिसाइडेड दट ही लीव हिस्स चित्रकूट अबोर्ड वे ही स्टेड फॉर थर्टीन ईयर्स इन चित्रकूट ही स्टेड देर फॉर थर्टीन आउट ऑफ फोर्टीन ईयर्स एंड ही स्टार्टेड मूविंग साउथ and he came to a place called as dandakaranya dandakaranya after bhagwan shri ram came to dandakaranya that place started to blossom once more and today that dandakaranya name is not there anymore now it is called as panchavati i am sure many of you would have visited this panchavati and it is in modern day nasik area and there is also that kumbh mela which takes place there every so often eh? so this is the the place where bhagwan ram came now and those of you who like traveling in india and all you can still visit so many of the places where bhagwan ram himself stayed there in that panchavati eh? at that time it was called as dandakaranya now we will see this is after number 13 13 in this aranyakand i will be chanting and here people will be replying each line with shri ram jai ram jai jai ram if you have your ramayan at, with you you can also take it out and turn to doha number 13 in the aranyakand and you can follow along okay now see this श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम जब ते राम की दहबासा भये मुनि दी गिरी बन नदी ताल छवि छाए दिन दिन प्रति हो ही सुहाए खग मृग बृंद अनंदित रही श्री मधुप मधुर गुण जत छवि सोपन बरनी न सक अही राजा जहाँ प्रगत रघु बीर श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम जय रघु राम Chandra ki jai very nice introduction to this prasanga in aranyakand goswami to sidashi writes jab te ram ki na tah basa sukhi vai mui biti trasa giri ban nadi tal chhavi chhaye din din prati ati hoi suhaye so dandakaranya had two shop you know 
Well, Gautam Rishi had given one sharp to this Dandakaranya. And at one time, Bhrigu Rishi also had given to this. And that place became dry and arid and uh, lifeless, uh, filled with rakshasas and burnt trees. And it was a desolate kind of place. And um, Bhagavan Ram came to that place. At one time, even the great uh, Gautam Rishi used to be uh, close by there. And so that Bhrigu Rishi also. So it was a well-known forest. <coughs> but with the sharp of these two Rishis, Many stories are there regarding sharp, how they gave sharp and all. So you can go, you can go see that. How many people are very interested in sharp. So those, those who are interested in sharp, you can go and check that sharp and all. Huh? So anyway, now to see that she's introduction to this is so nice. What is Jabate Rama Kina Tahabasa. Bhagwan came there and took up residence. Bhagavan came to the Dandakaranya. And when he came, he says, Sukhi vai muni biti trasa. All the rishis, munis in that area and all became happy. And all their fears went away. Hmm? This all can be taken also very symbolically. Giri bana nadi tal chavi chai. Mountain and the forest and the rivers and the ponds and everything. They started looking more beautiful. Huh? Din din prati ati hoi suhae. Day by day, they all started be looking so beautiful. Day by day. And khaga, mriga, brinda, anandita rahahi. And all the animals and birds started uh, uh, rejoicing. Bhagwan Ram came there. Madhupa madhura gunjat chavi ilahahi. And the bees started buzzing a new tune as though. So bana baranina saka ahi raja. Even Sheshnag. With thousand mouths, could not describe the beauty that came upon that Dandakaranya when Bhagwan Sri Ram came there. Jaha Pragataragubira Viraja, where Ram dwells. And the idea is, our, our heart is like that, you know. Heart is full of all the calm, crowd, mother, lobe, all the uh, different type of, what uh, is Sharvikar, it is called. Huh? All the uh, Durgana Gunas, all negative traits and qualities and all. And sort of in that heart, it is dry and arid and stone-like and all that sort of, and all the rakshas qualities are there. But if we allow Bhagwan Sri Ram in our heart, we allow Bhagwan Sri Ram to come inside, beauty will blossom in our life, in our own uh, heart. So, the person has to make the effort, you know, instead of harboring, instead of uh, culturing all negative thoughts and all negative things or useless things you know things that bring no benefit or anything we, st we should harbor and culture all useful thoughts and useful activities you see that will bring mangalam that will bring goodness and, di and divinity to our life that is the bringing of ram bringing ram means what not to go and take up that murti from there and bring here like this, you know. Not that type of thing. It means I have to harbor and culture all the good, positive thoughts. Actually, Rama stands for compassion. Rama stands for love. Rama stands for charity. Rama stands for goodness, for joy. Mm. All those type of thoughts. Mm. Kindness, mercy, kripa. Like that. Daya. So all the great qualities, we should culture in our heart. That is bringing Ram. That heart will blossom with joy and, and beauty and all, you see. And beauty is about inside, not outside. So this is the idea. Jabate Ram Kinata Basa, when Bhagwan Ram came there, the beauty became indescribable. And he's, he and Lakshmana, they set up a little hut there. And... And then, from there onwards now, they stayed there for a little while. And it is there that the Ram Gita unfolds. Huh? So this Ram Gita unfolds there in Dandakaranya, which is, I told you, after Bhagavan Sri Ram came, its, its name was changed to Panchavati. Hmm? Why? Because Bhagavan Ram saw uh, five uh, water vriksha. Vata Vriksha means this uh, banyan trees. Uh, so five of them. Even today you can go there. It is still there. People still visit. 
these five trees together. So Panchavati means that whether five Banyan trees are there. So now, how the Ram Gita starts in that place called as Panchavati. This is now what we will see. Now from the very next Chaupai itself. Those of you who are seeing this Ram Charita Manas for the first time, Goswami, of Goswami Tulsidaji, there are four types of verses here which he has written, or maybe five types. One type is called as Chaupai, and this is what we just sang, and now we are going to sing again. And this is the most pervasive. Then the second most pervasive is called as Doha. Then there, um, in between, uh, less pervasive, some sortha, and then finally some chanda. And then at the beginning of each kanda, he writes also some Sanskrit shlokas. So this is the fifth type, huh? Sanskrit shlokas. Okay, so now this Ram Gita starts. How it starts? Better I not tell Tulsi Das himself will tell here. Now see this. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Ek Baar Prabhu Sukh Asina Chiman bachan kahe chalahi na Surinar muni sachar Prabhu Inai Shri Ram Jai Bar Prabhu Sukha Asina. One day, Bhagwan Sri Ram was sitting very comfortably. Sukha Asina means sitting very comfortably. Very interestingly, in this Katha, this Prasangai which is going on now, this episode, please see, eh? Sita Ji is absent. There is no mention of Sita Ji. And there is no explanation also where Sita Ji was. This is a dialogue between Rama and Lakshmana only. And no mention of Sita Ji. So one day Bhagavan Sri Rama was sitting there very comfortably. Ekabhara Prabhu Sukha Asina. Prabhu what I'll tell you. Prabhu what I saw somewhere has very nice meaning. It says... Kartum akartum anyatha kartum samarthaha is Prabhu. What is that? Prabhu is he who can make the impossible possible. So akartum, ak something which cannot be done. Cannot be done. He will make it be done. Or anyatha kartum also. Means to say, he will make, for example, if you see cow gives white milk, he can make it give black milk also. Anyatha kartum. What? This is Bhagwan. Samartha. Hmm. Prabhu. That's why I see a, a forest just now which I told you. A forest which is given sharp by two rishis. Bhagwan only put his foot there and the whole thing transformed. This is Bhagwan. This is Prabhu. You see. Who has that samartha means that capacity. Power, that might, just by wink of his eye, he can dissolve this entire sansar. 
Entire cosmos can be dissolved by a wink of eye, wink of one eye. Huh? What a talk. So kartuma kartuma nisa kartum samarthaha is Prabhu. So this this Prabhu Bhagwan Ram sitting there, the, o, the ocean of knowledge, and Lakshmana. Then see Lakshmana, the Lachimana. In, in this uh, North Indian languages, many of the North Indian states, when a word in Sanskrit is difficult to say, what they do? They make very easy. Like for example, if you have to say Indra, Indra is difficult to say, is it Indar? Because for Indra, you have to twist your tongue a little bit too much. So instead of Indra, say Indar. Easy. Smaran. Smaran. Very difficult. Smaran. Why you make your tongue, you know, go up to the roof of your mouth and everything? Smaran. Sumiran. Sumiran. See, so many words like that in this uh, Ram Charis Manas, you will see. Swabhav. Swabhav. So whenever conjunct consonants come like that, smaran, sma, there's a conjunct consonant, swabhav. Here you see everywhere, you see that here, subha, subhav, easy. So like that, all the, the words, so lak, lakshman, see to pronounce lakshman a name is very difficult in Sanskrit, you know, lakshman. Here, lachiman. Lachiman is given. So it's a very, it's a very what, endearing form of the word. Lachiman bachan kahe chalahina. Very, very um, instructive words. Huh? Lakshmana is going to ask some questions from Bhagwan Sri Ram. And Tulsi Daji writes how Lakshmana asks. You know, chalahina. Very important word. Chalahina means he asks those questions without any ulterior motives what do you say? ulterior motives you know people ask question many times look here you'll see sometimes we ask a question so that other people will know that I am asking an intelligent question I may not also know what the question means but I am asking an intelligent question so other people will say ah, he asked such an intelligent question like that or so, an, another reason why some people will ask question he wants to see, he knows already, but he wants to see if that fellow knows. So he asks the question to that fellow. Then, sometimes, he wants to, he asks that question only because he has nothing to ask. He really is not interested in any answer also. He, he feels, I should, I should ask some question. When I'm here, I met this person, he's a knowledgeable person, I should ask something. And whatever he says, he doesn't even listen also. Whatever answer he gets, this fellow doesn't listen also. So no, that chalahina means devoid of all of these things. Hmm. Question we should not ask to test that other person to see what he knows. Pariksha will give. And I know, I want to see if he knows. And you know, some people go on asking everywhere. Samji, I've asked everybody this question. I want your take. Like this. <laughs> I also like this thing. I want your take. My take? I no take. So anyway, Lakshmana did not have any of these things in his mind. And what is left now? I we ask only because there is a genuine concern and a desire to know. And one more thing, let me add this thing. So Apucha Gurudev is to explain very nicely to all of us. What is that? If a question arises in our mind, any question that arises, I'm studying Ramayana or Gita or Upanishad, something, and some question arises in our mind. Okay. So suddenly we just we don't open our mouth and just bloat out that question to the Guru or bloat out to some Swamiji or something. No. That's not the procedure also. The procedure is when a question arises in my mind, I go and I reflect. Reflect 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 and see if i can come up with that answer myself this is the best thing i study that question from different 
angles and different standpoints and see if I can come up with the answer. And when I have reflected from all the angles of which I am capable and I cannot come up with that answer, then only I go and ask Gurudev, ask this, the teacher, you see? Like that. So this is the idea. Also Lakshmana asked with great, great, great uh, desire to know from Bhagwan. Uh, now, how he uh, asks also, how he continues there, he says, Sur Nara Muni Sacharachara Sai. Sai means Lord. You are the Lord of all Sura, all the gods. Nara, all men, all Munis. Sacharachara means all moving and unmoving things. There is one Lord only in this universe. Of all things moving and unmoving. Mm. So you are the Lord of all things. And by extension, you are my Lord also. May Puchau Nija Prabhu ki nai. So, because you are my Lord, Nija Prabhu, you are my Lord as well. So, I am asking you to uh, tell me this, the answer to these questions. So, uh, very, very instructional uh, lines about even asking a question. You know, people think that they are not important, but they are. Yeah? All of these things, they are important. Because... See, when we follow these type of very simple rules, what happens? What happens, you see? I remove chala from my mind. I have a genuine desire to know. Then, I don't want to test anybody or anything. I have go with a simple mind. Then I also um, ask when is the right time. See, Prabhu, Sukha Asi, na? Gurudev is a stress on these type of things. You know, that he's entering a train. One foot inside the train. One foot outside the train. And then that fellow tells, Gurudev, can you tell me what is Atma Gyan? Atma Gyan, one foot is already inside, one foot outside. I want no Atma Gyan at that time. No. So, he says, there has to be a right time also. So, when we follow all of these rules, what happens is, the person who follows the rules, he makes his own mind. He makes his own Antakarana more susceptible to learning or more conducive to learning when he follows the rules. So it is for his own benefit. So when the answer is given and that antakarana is well poised and more conducive to learning, what, that answer will stick. But if he doesn't follow the rules and asks hastily and all of that, the antakarana is not in the right condition to receive any gyan. So all the rules are laid down very nicely. In tradition, in Shastras and all. Sa Guru Eva Bhigachet Samit Pani Shrutiram Bhama Nishta. See, it tells how we say, approach the Guru. Scriptures give all of these things, you see. So, following the rules is very important. Don't think that the rules are not important. Or I go, no, 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 Swamiji, this is modern times, you know. I can call up the Guru there and there and there. Guruji, what about such and such thing? Or oh, you call up the Guruji, Sap Guru? <laughs> no. Following rules is very important for that student himself. It makes the student's mind conducive to learning. Okay. Now, what are Lakshmana's questions to Bhagwan Sri Ram? Prabhu, I am going to ask you these questions. And see now, very. Uh, we, we must also praise Lakshmana, you know. Because look. When Lakshmana asks the question and Bhagwan Sri Ram replies, not only Lakshmana gets the benefit, we also get the benefit of that. So, so all praises to Lakshmana for asking and asking the most appropriate questions. Now you'll see which questions he asks. And this forms the body of the Ram Gita of this Aranyakant. Uh, see. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Jai 
मोहि समझाए कह सोई सबत जी कर चरण से कह ज्ञान विराग अरु माया श्री राम जय राम कह सुभगती कर मुझे गाया ईश्वर जीव सकल कहाँ समझाए श्री राम जाते हो चरण रती शोक मो भ्रम जाए श्री राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम जय रघु राम सियावर रामचंद्र की जय मोहि समुझाई कहौ सोई देवा सब तज करौ चरण रजस सेवा प्लीज प्रभु यू एक्सप्लेन दीज थिंग्स टू मी सो दैट आई विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉप एवरीथिंग एंड ओनली डू सेवा टू योर लोटस फीट means when these things are cleared cleared up in my mind i will be able to drop everything in this world and only do seva to your feet this is lakshmana's statement explain these things to me but what things here they are now five five things i have enough fingers on one hand for <laughs> five things kahu hmm? gyan tell me what is gyan Virag, virag means vairagya. Gyan means knowledge. Virag, virag means vairagya. Aru maya. Aru is not one more question. No? Aru means aur and cha. Maya cha. So tell me, gyan, vairagya, maya. Then next one, kahu bhagati, so bhagati, kahu bhagati. Tell me what is devotion. This is number four. Karahu jai daya by which I can get your compassion. That devotion by which I can get your compassion. Number four. And number five. Iswar jeev bhed prabhu sakala ka hao samujhai. Tell me the bhed or the difference between Ishwara and Jeeva. The difference between Ishwara and Jeeva. And the last line is most instructional. The last line of that doha very very instructional see everything in the universe is purposeful eh? everything in the universe has a purpose and if i also am asking a question without a purpose that is just superfluous that is of no use and the questions which lakshmana ask are the eternal questions for which there are eternal answers also and the purpose is stated in the last line What is this? He says, "Jate hoy charan rati, soak moh brahma jai." So that when these questions are answered for me, 
all shoka moha will go away. Hmm. Shoka moha. If you see the beginning of Bhagavad Gita, or you see the beginning of Yoga Vashishta, or wherever you go, you see. Bhagavan Sri Ram is asking questions to the great sage uh, Vishwamitra in Yoga Vashishta. And why is he asking these questions? He, and of course, first he asked to Vishwamitra ji and then later to uh, the sage Vasishta also, right? So, when he's asking those questions, there he very clearly also, he states that when these questions are answered, my Shoka Moha will go. And Bhagavan Sri Shankaracharya, in beginning of his Bhashya and Bhagavad Gita, there also he says that he, Bhagavan Sri Krishna has to remove the Shoka Moha of Arjuna. It is to remove Shoka Moha means the sorrow and delusion. One which is the cause of the other. Delusion is the cause of the sorrow. So to, this actually is the problem of Jiva. The uh, Jiva has no problem, you know, except this Dukkha, Shok. Shoka means, uh, Shoka means Dukkha. This is Jiva's problem. Our life is guided only by this thing. This is Sukha Prapti Dukkha Nivritti. Every action of a Jiva, every action of a human being is guided by this principle only. But he wants to acquire Sukha and get rid of Dukkha. That dukkha is called, caused by moha, delusion. So, here Lakshmana is asking these questions to Bhagavan Sri Ram, so that when the questions are answered, Lakshmana is shoka and moha. And he has one more word, brahma. Tulsi Daji has a knack for that. Anywhere, anything is given, it, like there two is, word is given, Tulsi Daji will add one more. Hmm? Shoka, moha, brahma jai. Brahma word. Confusion. Confusion like that. Hmm. In the in, in, uh, 16th chapter, there, uh, 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 Bhagavan Sri Krishna tells that there are three doors to hell. Kam Krodh Lob. Trividam Narakasiyadam Dwaram Nashanam Atma. Three doors to hell. Tulsidaji Sundarkan. Kam Krodh Mother Lob. Mother he adds. Arrogance. One more door. The likelihood of going to hell is greater. So anyway, like that. He's, but the words are very powerful words, instructional words. Huh? So, anyway, so here, Brahma. So the, but the two important operative words, uh, Lakshmana is himself telling that when you answer these questions for me, then Shoka Moha Brahma Jai, they will go away. And then what? Jate hoi charan rati. And then I will come to revel in your feet. Now, before I continue, let me just tell you this is something about bhakti marga. Let me tell you some differences in gyan marga and bhakti marga. In gyan marga, one merges with the absolute reality and the story is over. Case closed. One merges. Eh? So that, that you, you know that they, what we have to call as Sa Lokya Mukti, Sa Mipya Mukti, uh, Sa Rupya Mukti and Sa Yujya Mukti. Right? So in, in, in Gyan Mahari, Sa Yujya Mukti, that person merges like a drop of water merging with the ocean. Now where is that, that drop thereafter? It merges. Irretrievable. Gyan Mahari. Bhakti Mahari is when a person realizes God, when all his shoka, moha, brahma, everything is removed, that time the person discovers what is true devotion, what is true love. Means his love becomes infinitely expansive like that. And so he embraces the whole world and he has a great devotion for the feet of the Lord of the universe like that. In, in other words, in Bhakti Marg, after realization, then there is supreme love for the feet of Bhagwan. And Lakshmana said this thing two times. Jate hoi charanati. So when I shok moha brahma goes, then I will have I will revel in your feet. And prior to that also, sab taji karau charan raja seva. 
that when you explain these questions to me, I will be able to drop all things and do only seva to the dust of your lotus feet, like that. So these are the five questions. Now, you, you have to also see the order of the questions. Eh? Tell me what is Gyan, Vairagya, Maya, what is Bhakti, and what is the difference between Jiva and Ishwara. These are the five in that order. Now, Bhagwan Ram, he doesn't answer in that order. So people say, what is wrong with this Rama, you know? This Rama did not listen properly or what? The question was asked like this. He answers, you see, Gyan, Virag, Maya, Bhakti and Isha, Jiva, Bhed. Bhagwan Ram answers Maya first. He jumps to number three. Well, there are a number of reasons for that thing. Eh? One reason is, see, very simple. If Bhagwan Ram tells Gyan, Right? Then what is the need for the others? When it's a person who acquires gyan, knowledge, then there is no need for others. So it's not that Bhagwan Ram is answering in the wrong order, it's Lakshmana asking in the wrong order. That is the thing. You see, look here. In this tradition, we cannot say that Bhagwan, and that's it, people still do this, huh? That what Bhagwan did was improper. You know, everywhere we go, people are going asking, oh, Bhagwan Ram sent away Sita Ji. Hmm? He did wrong thing. Bhagwan Ram shot Bali from behind the tree. He did wrong thing. Are you yeah, You know what you are saying? The Lord of this infinite universe, Sacharachara Sai, you are saying you know better than him. The Lord who knows every Sarvagnya. So you are past Sarvagnya. What is this? It is not that Bhagavan Ram is answering in wrong order. He asks Nyan first, Maya third. Bhagavan answers Maya. Bhagavan is answering in the proper order only. Because, because if he answers Nyan first, there is no need for the other four. Leave it. There will be no rationale for them. Eh? Second thing is, look here. You, you just think. Huh? If you go, if you're walking down the street somewhere and you see a kid who is without clothing, without food, without schooling, huh? no clothes, no food, no school. The kid is just a street kid. So what you will do first? You will go and take him to school. You grab the kid and take him to school. Anyway, yeah, the, out of the three things, you see the, the most important thing is the thing which is pressing at the moment, isn't it? The thing which is pressing at the moment upon which the other things d depend. That thing which is pressing there is food. If you don't give food, well, what is the need for clothing and school? He'll die. So whatever is the affliction of the jiva, whatever affliction that the jiva has, that, that those afflictions will have ranks. And the most pressing one, the important one, will have to be dealt with first. Now you see, you see this thing. The jiva is here, caught up in this maya. Hmm? Maya is his, is, his, is his affliction. So he, that's why people say, look, first you give me food, then you will give me knowledge after. Ah, that's the pressing thing. So this jiva has to now figure out what is his present state? Why is he in this state like this? And you know, there's one more question. Because jiva is in the, in the first instance, the jiva is subject to maya, afflicted by this maya. Mm. And he quickly wants to diagnose his problem, see what is this maya, how it is work, how it works, this, that, all the other things. What is the cause of his, his sorrow and all such things. He has to see this. 
in doing that, do you know? In really figuring out his present condition and his state of his state of existence in Maya, really he will be inching closer to Gyan. But always there is a diagnosis when you go to a doctor. There is a diagnosis, and he has to study the problem. So the Maya comes through because it's a study of the problem. What is my problem? What is our problem? Like that. So, when we study that problem, study, study, study the answer will also dawn. Like, so, in proper order, Bhagavan Sri Ram starts with this thing called as Maya, number three. Eh? So, now let us see that thing. Before Bhagavan tells about this Maya, he tells Lakshmana how to listen to what he is going to tell. Because there is a way to listen also. Very important thing in this tradition. Uh, Shravanam is not a simple word. Shravanam is not an ordinary word. Shravanam is a big word in this tradition. Uh, so Bhagavan tells to Lakshmana. See this thing. Shri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Rama Shri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Rama Shri Ram Jay Shri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Ram Shri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Ram Tore Himaha Sab कहूँ बुझाई श्रीराम जयराम सुनाऊँ तात मति मन चितलाई श्रीराम जयराम जय जयराम Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Thore hi maha sabak kahao bujai Bhujai. Bhagavan says, I am going to answer all your questions briefly. The first thing. We, not long discourse. And nobody likes to listen to long discourses, you know. Briefly, I am going to. That is why you actually we should make this class one hour only. <laughs> anyway, which is already one and a half hours. So, I am going to... Uh, uh, answer very briefly. And do you know, really, brevity it is called. Huh? Brevity is actually a sign of great intelligence. Intelligence on the part of the speaker as well as on the listener. If both go on like, at length like that, that shows that there is something lacking. You know? Brevity is very... That's why you see all our scriptures. They are written in sutra form. Sutra. And it's the short little sutra form. They, they are so packed. With so much of knowledge. So Bhagavan also is telling. And I told you in the beginning. Na? Bhagavad Gita. Kinchida Gita. Little. Otherwise people like... Amiji... We studied all of these texts already. What new text we can study? Like that. Tell what new text we can study. Anyway, yeah, one is sufficient. 
You no need to go on doing all and all people like all of these things on and on on and on. Little kinchidatita. So here, Bhagwan also is, he stresses on this point of brevity, being brief, succinct to the point. Hmm? And then he tells Lakshmana, "Now, Sunahu Tat, my dear, Tat is a is a, a endearing word." Tat, father to son, son to father, like that. Tat, parent to child. Tat, Bhagwan, Sri Krishna calls Arjuna Tat many times. So here, Sunahu Tat, listen, my dear. Mati, mana, chit, lai, bring together your mind, intelligence, all your memory, past knowledge. Bring together your entire personality. That is the idea. This is the art of listening. Or Puja Gurudev used to say, people don't listen, they hear only. We don't listen, we hear. We, what hear means, we hear in passing. And hear means also, it, it goes through this air and comes out from other air. But to bring together the whole personality, be present there, with the whole personality. This is a big problem big problem for human beings. Eh? See in Japa, three parts of the personality are supposed to be united. Yukta. The speech, the body, and the mind. The body holding mala. Mind is thinking. And speech is saying mantra. The mind is actually coordinating both of them. Syn bringing synchronicity to both of them. So the, in Japa, all three should be there. So you see here also in listening to, and especially who is speaking? Bhagwan himself is speaking. Not any ordinary being. Bhagwan is speaking. So to bring together all my intelligence, all my uh, bhava, feeling, all my memory, past knowledge. Because if yesterday I heard 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, that is relevant in today's lecture. Because from today, I'm going to hear 4 plus 4 is, 4 is equal to 8. But if I forget yesterday, what is 4 now? So I have to, whatever I heard in the past, now I'm going to add to that knowledge. So the, here, the, the, the word is chitta. So, Bring all my past knowledge, bring my attention, bring my bhav, my feeling, bring my love, bring everything there to listen to. This is how we, sh we have to listen. Eh? My whole personality, in other words. Presence of mind. Mm. This is the idea. So Bhagavan tells how to listen. And now, in one of the best, best definition of maya, most succinct, most brief definition of maya you will see but most relevant definition of maya see now this is the next line shri ram jay ram jay jay ram shri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Ram Shri Ram Jay Ram Nay a rumor Dorte Maya Sakine Jeevani Kaya Shri Ram Jaya Ram Go Go Char Jaha Lagi Man Jai so sab maya 
जाने हुआ श्यावर रामचंद्र की जय मैं अरुमोर तोर ते माया इन क्वार्टर ऑफ अ चौपाई तुलसीदास जी इज एबल टू अचीव ऑल द ज्ञान वी हैव सीन सो मैं भगवान शंकराचार्य रिटन इन विवेक चुरामनी यू विल सी दे आल्सो माया माया is that thing with or maya is maya matram idam dvaitam maya matram idam dvaitam advaitam paramarthatah you see me look here the, now a person who doesn't know sanskrit you know is very, very, very difficult thing for it. this dvaitam the duality this is let us study little bhagwan shankara chai a little bit vivek churamani you know, see this thing duality maya matram idam dvaitam advaitam paramarthatah like this so the duality which we experience is called as maya that is verily maya itself the duality which we experience and the reality or the truth is there is no duality there is only oneness in the universe huh. so this is sanskrit shlokas and the expression there Siddharth is able to achieve that same thing in a very very simple form. May a rumor, me and mine, and you and yours. So now see that duality or not? There's me and mine here, and there's you and yours. There's two things. Wherever there's a me, there's a you. Two things. So me and mine, you and yours, the duality. In other words, I don't see myself as related to you. What is mine is mine. That that wife is telling that husband, what is mine is mine, and what is yours is mine. That means everything is mine. But we have all this very strong feeling of me and mine. So the moment I just say me and mine, that means to say. everything else is you and yours i have quickly made a distinction or a duality which really does not exist and this is called a delusion to think uh, to to concoct something which does not exist and this is called a delusion which is not so so i make a distinction between what is me and mine and what is you and Yeah. I only have to do the first part, you know. The moment I delineate the first part, me and mine, well, I have thereby automatically made the other part. You can't have a coin with one side. If ever you find a coin with one side, you please show it to me. So the moment you make me and mine, well, you have automatically created the other side. You have automatically made a duality. you see so that feeling of duality of that i am here and these things are mine and you are there and those things are yours the that perpetuation of that feeling that is the perpetuation of maya i means i cling to that that is designed or that very same thing is called as the design of maya So what is Maya? Maya rumor torte Maya me and mine, you and yours. That is called as Maya, and it is exactly the same thing what is being said in Vivek Churamani, which I just told you. Eh? It's not no different. Maya matram idam dwaitam. So in Kota Chopai he wraps it up. Then 
He says, Meru Murtur Tema, Jehi Basakine Jeeva Nikaya, which has the Jeeva under its grip. It is this Maya, this feeling of me and mine, you and yours, which has the Jeeva under its grip. Means this duality which the Jeeva is experiencing and which binds the Jeeva. It is bondage. This is the bondage of the Jeeva. It has the Jeeva under its grip. It bounded the Jeeva. And even for the Jeeva to feel, I am Jeeva and he is Ishwara, that also is duality. That is part of the bondage. I am here. And that's why see, in all traditions, everywhere, people have this feeling, I am here. And, and what we say? Uparwala um, is looking. Have you heard? Uparwala is looking. So we are here and Bhagwan is there. All this is part of the delusion only. Eh? All the delusion caused by Maya. So Maya Rumur Turtai Maya. Jehi Basakin He Jeeva Nikaya. Means which has all Jeevas under its grip. Which has all Jeevas bound to this universe. Which has all Jeevas in bondage. Hmm. Tomorrow, we'll pick up this thing from right here. This is because this bondage is a big thing. Big, big thing. Hmm. Alright. Let us stop and then we'll see tomorrow. Okay, now we'll have announcements and uh, closing prayers and all. Let me just chant for a moment. And then we'll have announcements and closing prayer. Hare Rama 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 Sita Rama 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 Hare Rama 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 Sita Rama 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 Hare Rama 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 Sita Ram 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 Hare Ram 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 Sita Ram 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 Hare Ram 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 Sita Ram 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 Hare Rama 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 Sita Rama 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 Hare Rama 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 Ram 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 Sita Ram 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 Sita Ram 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 Sita Ram 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 Ram